Oh yeah, so this is lesson four. In my completed pack, it's page 14. I hope it's the same as yours. Right then. In the calculator, um, I said to you that log and e were opposites. They kind of cancel each other out. So if you do, so let me get rid of this. If you do log of 10 to the power of 3, the log and the 10 to the power of should cancel, and it should just give me 3. In the same way, if I did 10 to the power of log 3, that the 10 to the power of and the log cancel out. In the same way, if I did ln of e3, the ln and the e cancel each other out. They're inverses of each other. And they cancel out. Or e to the ln3, the e and the ln just cancel out. And that's what this is, this inverse functions bit here. It cancels, it's like squaring a square root. Or inverse sine and sine. Right, so let's have a look at this then. If you look, the log and the base are both the same. So they cancel each other out. So that's a 7. Ln is log to base e. They kind of cancel each other out. But before I do it, I've got to deal with this 3. So I've got to write it first of all as ln 2 cubed. So the e and the ln cancel out now. And I've got 2 cubed, which is just like 8. There's some there for you to have a go at and the you do's. Just do them as you go. I'll reveal them at the end. Uh, so this is 3 ln of e to the minus 2. The ln and e cancel out, so I've got 3 times by minus 2. I've got minus 6. So there's one there for you to have a go at as well. And then what have I got here? I've got a 3, but this is a 2 log, so I'm going to, because the 2 is on the power, I'm going to have to take it up there. So I've got 3 log to base 3 of k squared, and the 3 and the log 3 cancel out. I got k squared, and you're not going to like doing that at all. Sorry. <laughs> oh, jeez, I do. So we've got them bits there. Have a go at the you do's and see if you've got the same as these. This could delete all. Oh no, it hasn't. It hasn't deleted all question. Yay. Nah. Okay. Right. So I said to you that they're inverses of each other, which means that they are a reflection in the line y equals x. And we do a lot more on inverses, like proper inverses, next year. Um, so it asks us, what does it ask us? What are the coordinates where e to the x crosses? So it crosses at 0, 1. And where this one crosses, that crosses at 0, 1. Where this one crosses at 1, 0. And that has to do with the reflection in the line y equals x. If you look, these have swapped. And that's quite important for next year when we're dealing with inverses, that the coordinates switch around. So that's what that's kind of pushing. So it's getting you ready for next year now, really. <laughs> so we have our powers. They all stay the same, what we've done before. So now I'm solving. Right, OK. Oh, these are actually quite nice. So to get rid of E, I'm going to take LN on both sides. So I'll take LN. You'll get used to the fact that to get rid of e, you do ln. To get rid of ln, you do e. To get rid of log, you do 10 to the power of. To get rid of 10 to the power of, you do log. And then the other base is in there as well. 
you do get used to it, it's nice and easy. So I've got ln of e to the x, which just becomes an x, and I've got ln of 10. ln of 10 I'm going to leave as an exact value there to have a go at that. So there's one there, have a go at that one, see what you get. With b, to make it easy, I'm just going to divide through by the 2. So I've got e to the 3x plus 1 is 8. I'm going to, because it's e, I'm going to take ln. So I've got ln of e to the 3x plus 1 is ln of 8. Got ln and e cancel, I've got 3x plus 1 is ln 8. I can take the 1 away. Oops, ln 8 minus 1, and I can divide through by 3. I'm going to leave it as a third of log 8 minus 1. So there's one there for you to have a go at. They do this with a proper fraction. So to get rid of e, I just take ln. There's one there for you. So this one, to get rid of ln, I do e. So I've got e to the power of ln x. So the e and ln cancel, and then that's going to be e squared, e squared. Leave it in exact form if you can. Even that 1.5, think of it in this one. Think of that as 3 over 2, not 1.5. So there's one there for you to have a go at. This one, I want to divide through by the 3, so I've got ln of 4x is 4. Then I want to do e, so I've got e to the power of ln 4x. So e and ln cancel, it's going to be 4x. That would be e to the 4. Uh, so that would be e to the 4. And then if I divide through, I've got a quarter of e to the 4. Yeah. That's all those on, on my page 15. Uh, yeah, page 15. How long would we be on that? I'll show you in class. Is there any more of them on that page? I've got a different form now, so on the next page is a different one.